everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys an update on what I packed for my hospital stay. So this is my second child. I've learned a lot on what to pack and what to leave home. And um, I just want to give you guys a rundown really fast of that. I'll cover what I packed in our daughter Freya's um, little diaper bag and then I'll move on to what I packed for me and my husband. So in this diaper bag I packed in this front pocket here some newborn diapers. I know the hospital provides it but I recently heard depending on the hospital they charge you per diaper. Um, so I just packed those to be on the safe side plus it's a diaper bag so it never hurts to have lots of diapers in here <laughs> obviously in these side pockets um, I packed some diaper rash cream I don't think she's gonna need this the first uh, few weeks of or really the first couple days of her life but you never know just to be safe um, there's also binkies in here my son wasn't much of a binky sucker I had a lot of nursing issues with him so I didn't want to give him a binky um, and with Freya, I am definitely going to push the binky because my son became a thumb sucker. And these binkies are the Soothy binkies and they are um, the best for nursing babes. They actually have like um, a silicone nipple that is close to the breast. And so um, this is best if you want to buy this um, and you don't want to experience nipple confusion, this is the best binky to buy. Um, let's see, what else is in here? I'll move on to this back pocket right here. I have... I'm so excited because I'm having a girl and I didn't get to do this with my boy, but I have all these little bows. I doubt I'm going to put this on her head at all, but in case we take newborn pictures at the hospital, I have a bunch of bows in here. I have these hand mittens. I didn't use these with my son and I wish I would have because he scratched up his face like the third day um, that we had him at home. So I have these mittens. I have a couple pairs of socks for him or for her I'm sorry and a hat. Uh, so that's what's in that back pocket right there. Um, so moving on to the inside. Let's see here. I packed just some cute little zip up onesies. Um, this is probably what she'll be in actually most of the time is these little zip up onesies. This one's fleece. She'll be born in the summer. Uh, my son was born in the winter so I'm not quite sure how it'll work as far as dressing her goes but I know she'll be a newborn and she'll need to be warm. And then I have a couple more hem. I have two little outfits for her in here. Uh, the first one this one I'll probably send her home with. I thought this was adorable with these little pants. Um, she'll probably go home in that. And um, if to keep her warm if I need to, I have this long sleeve onesie. It also has some uh, mittens on it. Uh, but like I said, she'll be born in the summer so I may or may not use that. I may just use a light blanket. And then I have one more outfit. It says, I know my finger is small. But I got daddy wrapped all around it and just some little newborn pants. I have a dress that someone actually crocheted for us and I really want to get some newborn pictures taken of her in the hospital in this. Um, I also have packed, this is amazing, this is called the Milk Snob. It's a car seat cover and it doubles as a nursing cover. I had this with my son and I used it all the time out in public and I figure if I'm having visitors in the hospital I can just use this um, to try to nurse if I need to nurse her in the hospital. So swaddles. Swaddles are life guys. Life savers when you have a newborn. Um, the last hospital that I delivered my son at uh, gave us the swaddle. This was one of the the gifts to us and it's a newborn swaddle so I'm going to use it on her too. I don't know. We're delivering at a different hospital this time so I'm not sure if they'll actually give us 
a swaddle or not. So I'm bringing that. And then I just have some whites right in here. Um, I remember babies, newborns especially, they go through a lot of wipes, you guys. Um, just with the meconium and the poo, they, they, I just remember using a lot more wipes when my son was a newborn. Um, someone also got me these pacifier wipes, which I think are awesome. No harsh chemicals, gently cleans pacifier bottles, cups, and teethers. This is awesome. Um, the last thing I have in here is this really soft blanket that someone got for me um, at my baby shower. And so if I need to, uh, I'll use that, you know, on the drive home or whenever I need to. Uh, she might not need it because it's going to be so warm outside, but I have that in there just in case. So let's move on to my hospital bag. So in our hospital bag, I decided to go big or go home, literally, because I don't know how much I'll actually use that's in here, but I wanted to be safe. And instead of carrying like three little bags like I did when my son was born, I just wanted a big duffel bag. Um, that way my husband doesn't have to worry about carrying in a whole bunch of little bags. What a pain. So the first thing that's in here is the my breast friend nursing pillow. This nursing pillow is my favorite. I have a video all about nursing that I'll link below and I talk a lot about this nursing pillow. It unclips and it's just literally the best for nursing. So I definitely want to have this when I'm learning how to nurse her. I also have a little travel bag full of um, the things we'll need like to a toothbrush for me and my husband, um, some body lotion, I have deodorant. I'll probably just share this deodorant with my husband because I do use men's deodorant occasionally <laughs> and I don't mind. So I have that. I have my little Clinique face wash set, just like a little travel kit of um, uh, the face tonic, the face wash, and the lotion. And then um, I do have body soap. I know the hospital will provide probably soap. And um, I brought two ponytail holders because I remember with my son, I desperately needed a ponytail holder and I did not bring any for some reason. So I made sure to pack those this time, uh, some toothpaste and um, just some cotton balls. Um, the only other thing I really need in here is shampoo and conditioner. I'm going to get the travel size probably at Target and then we'll be good to go as far as those things go. I did pack a little um, postpartum essential kit in here. I know the hospital will give me a lot of this stuff, but like I said, I just want to go really prepared this time. I have um, the lanolin cream for your nipples when you're breastfeeding, which is so essential. I have my um, herbal perennial spray, and I actually, this is called Earth Mama. I recently got this on Amazon and it's just an all natural, it says, pregnancy and childbirth will change your lady parts. Here's a fun fact, you will heal. There's no harm in getting some cooling comfort down there in the meantime. So I am really excited to use this. I know they'll provide some spray for me and um, a petty bottle so I didn't pack or peri bottle, whatever they call those things. I did not pack that because the hospital will give me one of those. I have nipple shields. Um, like I said, I had a really hard time nursing my son, so nursing is something I really want to be prepared with when I get to the hospital. Um, and these nipple shields, I don't want to use them if I don't have to. In fact, it's not really suggested to use these if you don't have to. Um, but just in case I do have problems, I'm not going to shy away from using the nipple shield. It's just a silicone little thing. It goes on your nipple and it helps protect it from, you know, bleeding and cracking and while well, the baby's trying to figure out. And then you eventually want to wean the baby off of this. Um, I have nursing pads. Um, I move on to the uh, washable nursing pads. I really like those. They seem to retain a lot more milk 
Um, but the disposable ones are really great for when you first have your baby because I don't want to be doing laundry during that time and I don't have time to do laundry. So I just got the Parents' Choice from Walmart disposable ones. So in here, I'm not going to obviously show you guys what's in here completely because I packed underwear for me, underwear for James, and just some nice, like, comfy, warm socks to walk around in the hospital with. I will also pack some flip-flops to just slip on really fast if I need to go to the bathroom because I hate having my bare feet on the hospital floors. That's really yucky to me. Um, I also have my nursing bra. Although I, let's be honest, I probably won't be wearing a bra at the hospital unless I have guests coming. I did pack a towel. This is one thing that, one piece of advice I got from homegirl Erin Williams on YouTube. She suggested to bring a huge towel because the hospital towels pretty much suck. And I remember that with Graham. I was just like, man, these towels are awful. So. I brought one from home and I brought a little washcloth from home. And I packed, of course, two shirts for my husband, some PJs for my husband. Um, he'll probably sleep in the same outfit all the whole hospital stay, let's just be honest, but I did pack these for him just in case. My go home outfit I have a shirt and a nursing tank that I got off of Amazon. I haven't even taken the tag off of this yet, but I will wear that under my shirt. Um, and then some comfy pants to go home in. That's my going home outfit. This is probably my favorite part of what I packed for us. This time around, I was able to buy a matching gown. This is from, I believe, the brand is baby um what is it baby be mine and this is a really good brand you guys they have all sorts of hospital gowns on there with different patterns and you can get matching sets they even have a newborn one which i really want to get for freya so it will match my gown and my pj set so this is what i'm going to labor in and it's super comfy. It's also really good for nursing. You just pull the, the top down, it's stretchy, um, so I can nurse her right afterwards. As well as the matching PJ set. Now, the print is faded on this because I have literally worn this PJ set like almost every night. Um, so it's been washed a lot. And I'm no longer wearing it because I want to make sure it's in my hospital bag just in case we need to get going. And I want it to be clean. And then this is the top. And it's the same thing. It's um, really easy for nursing. This is such a comfortable PJ set. I will try to link this for you guys below. Uh, and you can find a pattern that you really like. And then the last two things that I have in here are a little nursing top it just buttons down this is a PJ top as well and then some shorts and I was gifted this with my first pregnancy and I wore it um, at the hospital as well it was really nice to have kind of more of a, a summery one the only other thing that I am going to bring with me I ended up purchasing the uh, Snuggle Me Organic, and that is just like the Daca Tot, except in my opinion better. And your uh, baby, your newborn can sleep in it, and it's it's safe for sleep, for monitored sleep. And I hope that she gets good sleep in it. So I'm going to pack that with me. That is what I've packed for Freya, and what I've packed for me. If you guys have any questions at all, uh, feel free to comment below. I would love to. Uh, also hear what you guys packed for your hospital stay, especially if you're like a second, third, fourth time mom. I think we get it down the more kids we have, right? Anyways, I hope you all are having a good day and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye!